What's up guys, this is Lucas with Central Pennsylvania Reviews, or CPR, and uh, well, Retro Tech Rewind, and today we're going to be doing a very, very simple mod, and that is to make your N64 Rumble Pack run without any batteries. It's a very, very simple mod that anybody can do at home, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So, first thing you'll need is one of these little game bit screwdrivers. I'm sure every one of you watching this probably has one, and if you don't, you should definitely invest in them. So go ahead and just open these up. Okay, we're gonna take the screws out and set those aside. I gotta restart my uh, soldering iron here. You're gonna need a soldering iron, by the way. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, once I have this all taken apart, we're gonna take this little capacitor, or capacitor, or resistor rather, and we're going to bridge two different connections, which is the 5 volt coming from uh, the actual card edge connector to the motor itself. So the two points that we're going to want to merge here are going to be this guy right here, this whole plane, which you can actually use these little holes, and this plane right here, which goes right to the red wire of the actual motor. So first thing we're going to do, go ahead and unplug that guy and I'm going to use my desoldering iron to desolder this little resistor here. It'll be super quick. And go ahead and take a little pair of pliers here and kind of straighten the leads out here. And just kind of bend each and down just just a smidge. It's a very highly technical term. So same thing. Bend that down. And the first point that we want to get is right here. Put the first little lead there. And the second point is over here. As you can see we're just soldering between those two spaces right there. Kind of get some uh, some tweezers to help me get that into position here. So now I'm going to go ahead and solder this guy down real quick. Again, this is like a very simple five-minute solder job. As you can see, we're just soldering those two spaces right there. And put a little bit more solder on here on the other end. And that's it. It's completely done now. Now we all we got to do is put it back together. So plug that guy in. Put the motor back in the case here. Take this end. Put that back in here. Just gonna close it up, put the screws back in real quick. And I'm actually gonna show you that it does in fact work on my N64 next to me here. Move my uh, tools out of the way. And we're gonna these retro bit controllers, you kind of have to smack them in almost to get it to sit. But you can see there's no batteries in there. Thanks, Fox. I thought they had me. You can see it's working now. We're entering Corneria City now. Without any batteries inside. This is horrible. Oh no. All right, well, as you can see, there's a super fast and super simple mod that you can do. Save yourself a ton of money in AA, the AA, AAA battery, something like that. But very, very simple mod that you can do to your N64 Rumble Packs. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a very quick one, but still, I enjoyed making it. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for some more coming in the future. And until next time, thanks for watching.